Hello out there, this is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with Skyrim, episode 28. Alright, when we left off, we had just emptied out the entirety of Orthheim of all the little bastards who would seek to kill us. So, now we're going to take the bounty, which is Fragment of Wuthred. Not really that much of a bounty, but eh. <laughs> uh, target takes 20 points of shock damage. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna disenchant that, but first, this is actually, if I remember correctly, this is actually a kind of broken quest right here. Or maybe I'm just absolutely fucking dumb and thinking of the wrong dungeon. Uh, I remember one dungeon where there's a broken thing there, but we're gonna skip that. Uh, coin purse. We're gonna skip that until it comes up, and then I'm gonna actually look smart for once, instead of looking like a complete fucking idiot while I'm trying to talk about things that I don't actually know, <laughs> apparently. I'm gonna loot what else is just sitting around around here. Ah, uh, still sword. Nothing that I want, particularly, so we're gonna go move on. That was, oh, that's the Dwarven Shield from the leader. And, uh, if you saw my little announcement on Tumblr, you're gonna know why I, uh, kinda lamed it out there a bit, because I've been watching a few things, and it's kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? Okay to lame out those sort of fights. Because if you don't, your ass gets handed to you, especially in a higher level that you know, would punish you for that. Uh, okay, what was the other thing I was going to do around here? Because it seems like I was going to do something else. Uh, no? That's for Solitude, and that's not where I'm heading. So, I guess, heading back to Whiterun. I guess that's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Alright then. Whiterun's central location in Skyrim has made it a trading hub of the entire province. Well, you know, that works. The pickpocket skill is used to take things from an unsuspecting target's pockets and not get caught in the process. Which is strange considering we failed to do that in a couple episodes ago. <laughs> I don't actually remember the title of the episode. I don't remember the titles I put on any of these. The great clan Battleborn, a name I'm sure you know well. Ooh, so very intimidating. Not really. I'm gonna keep moving on. See the horde, unwalled, uh -huh. likely manned, prime targets for those damn dragons. No, well, yeah, you're not wrong. Cake pins, sir, and spare pins. Not to you specifically. I'm going to... First, I'm going to pick up that, because I don't think I've picked up... What in hell's bells are you doing what there, come? bud? You have come to hear the word of Talos. Come on, Heimsker. Stop being a dink. God damn it. <sighs> I'm going to be annoyed and kill him one of these episodes. I swear to God. But as of right now, I'm just going to leave him. Uh, grabbing water real quick. One second. I've been running interference for you around here. I don't think anyone's caught on to our little campaign. Yet. Well, as long as they haven't caught on yet. Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? You know, baby. Another I got the fragment. Glory. Good work, shield brother. Yes. I'm looking for work. And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlack's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He's asked to see you. Oh, shit. My advice, always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Okay, fair enough. So, lie of omission. That's what we're going to be doing? Okay, fine. That's, you know, 
That's a way to do it. Better than live twisting words and fabricating shit. Again, something mentioned on Tumblr that you guys will not get unless you've you been on there. I guess that's okay. Just means I can show you the ropes. Yeah. Although you don't really need to, because I've done this game nine million times. Okay. Let's close. The Whoops. Let's close the door behind us. There we go. Hey, God luck. Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me. Yes, young lady. Have a seat. That's never a good sign. Okay. Have some sound. I hear you've been busy of late. Ayala and I work to avenge Skior's death. Your hearts are full of grief, and my own weeps at the loss of Skior. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. The cycle of retaliation may continue for some time. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Uh, I'd like to argue uh, that unless they're wiped out, that's not more than honor demanded. But anyway, um, and at that point, they don't really have any chance to respond anyway. But uh, Skewer said it was a blessing from Hercene. I. That sounds like it. Mm -hmm. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. So what is the truth, then? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. Troubled? One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Morrow Covenant. If the Companions would hunt in the name of their Lord Hircine, we would be granted great power. Oh. And they became werewolves. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. Aha. Uh -huh. But we had been deceived. But aren't you more powerful now? The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than our bodies. Oh. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. Fair enough. It is their choice. But I am still a true Nord. And I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Okay. Is there a way to cure yourself? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And ah. now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. Okay. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Mm -hmm. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. Okay. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Okay. It shall be done. Good. Now move quickly, and don't leave any of them alive. Talos guide you, lad. Fair enough. I will go, but I will only bring enough to cure him and possibly a couple others. I will not cure my own self. Because I like the werewolf curse, to be perfectly honest with you. With y'all. Y'all. I'm southern. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I'm from the Midwest, then went to the south for a bit. Then went northeast ish. No, that's northwest. I'm dumb. I, for some reason, confused east and west. That happens a lot. You'd be surprised. Alright. We'll, uh. Go this way. Out to. Uh. Glenmore Coven would be over here, wouldn't it? Yeah, right over there. Uh, sorry. Yawned a bit. It's kind of late out here. 
it's like 947 and I'm going to do something else entirely actually because that's not entirely necessary to do but it you know it'd be nice but it's not something I need to do um what I'm going to do is actually do the speak to the graybeards quest so what I need to do is go to Falkreath real quickly because it should bring me to daylight time just the action alone anyway and then I'll head to my house talk to the carriage rider or driver where he will drive me to Iverstead and I'll be able to walk my way up from there and it'll be short and cheap you know that's always good right there we go and it is 10 24 a.m. so I can talk to any shopkeeper around here great yeah that's the stuff hostess sponsored not really though we let shut like you your face I will cut your face off okay so off. well met Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Mm -hmm. Met lots of them while I was a storm cloak. I'm sure you did. What have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. I'm sure. Uh, let's see what we can buy off of him first. Because that's always good to trade, give a back and forth, that sort of thing. Um, Grand Soul Gem. I don't really have that much gold. Fuck. Uh sell that first off sell that um i uh lock pick i was about to say ice pick for a second there i realized my mistake within five seconds uh major wielding don't need that what i need is sure grip but i can't get that apparently i can get enchantments that i don't need double of but i can't get the ones i actually want Ever. It's annoying. But, uh... Healing, Magicka... Identical Stamina. We'll call that good. And... Sell that. Um... Sell that one. And... Is there something else? I'm pretty sure there's something else. Steel Helmet of Minor Restoration. Yeah, we'll sell that. Uh... Scrolls. Some... There's gotta be something else. I know there has to be something else. Uh, garnets and amethyst. Yes, there we go. You're a storm cloak. I was once, but not anymore. I was wounded mm. in a skirmish up near Windhelm. This was years ago, mind you. Uh huh. Now maybe I don't pick up a blade in Ulfric's name no more, but I still hold with his ideals. Skyrim is Nordland, and we ought to rule it. We don't need no help from the Empire on that count. Fair enough, you're wrong, but okay. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. Okay. Bye bye. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Okay. Now, how's my weight sitting at? Uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to head now to home. I could walk it, so I'm gonna walk it. See what other random encounters will pop up. I'm gonna head this way. And we'll, uh, whoop. Weird little zoom in there. There we go. That's better. Yay! Now I look better. And it looks better to me, which is important. Apparently. Um, hmm. Should be a random encounter right after this turn here. If I screwed anything up, anyway. Uh, we'll find out, won't we? No. Hmm. No assassins, no thieves, no nothing. Why is that? Why is what? Hail, friend. Hey! It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Hey! Ah, but you look tired. Come, 
Share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Hunting brew mead, huh? So, why only one bottle when you can have two? Smears beards, you're one after my own. <laughs> I would love another bottle. This good deed should not go unrewarded. Here, take this. Cheers. Holy crap! May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Dude, I've only had to ever steal that off of that guy. This is the first time I've actually noticed that I could just give him another hunting brew mead and then get it for free, basically. Holy shit! Oh my god. This is a first for me in this LP. Holy crap. I am so happy you just don't even know. Man, oh man, that is so useful. I just hope I eventually have it for the next LP I do. If I do another LP for a different build in Skyrim. But so, you know, I probably won't. Like I said, I'll probably do Dark Souls. And if I do Dark Souls, I will probably be doing that only. Because that one's a lot tougher and will be teaching me a lot more. Then again, I, it really depends on if my housing situation changed for the better. Changes for the better. I know grammar. I swear I do. Really. Up. And there we go. That was a quick one. Man, I could have missed that. There we go. Now head to the house. I wonder if everything's been uh, created by now. And by that I mean all the uh, housing stuff. And if not, I'll probably make some more. Oh, I forgot there's a mud crab that is spawning here. Um. Is the sound just screwing with me? Because I could have sworn I heard ice stuff. And away it goes. Whee! Like, I swear to God, though, I could have sworn I heard ice spells exploding. I am hearing that. Jesus, Hubert Christ. Okay. It was a bandit highwayman against a conjurer. I am a little surprised that happened. I'll take the pickaxe, though. That will be good. Conjurer. Uh, oh, so it was a bunch of bandits against them. That is kind of funny, though. <laughs> Considering I just sprung upon them next to my house and just blew them to hell. Uh, where's the, uh, where's the conjurer go? Where did he go? That's what I meant to say. I can hear the sound of his spell being stuck. There we go. Holy crap, glass dagger. Take that. Take that. And, yeah, we're good now. Yay! I found good stuff right next to my house. I didn't even have to. That was just a random encounter in my favor. Thank you, Skyrim. <laughs> Man, that music is loud now. Uh, let's see what else I can do with my house. Uh, I have to first. Wait, what? I was about to say I just made all of that shit. Dafuk. I made it a while ago, even. Okay. Again. What in the hell? I have to... Alright. That is a weird-ass glitch. I'm going to create an armory just because I'd want that at my house if I had it. Uh... Three lock, six hinge, six 
nails, three iron fittings. So I'm going to need a lot of my iron. Uh, all of that. Uh, three of my ingots and a lot of my ore. Not to mention all of that. And uh, yeah, call that good. We'll make a few iron ingots. And bring us to 30 iron ore. Because that will be enough, I think. Okay. For building materials, we make three of those. Three of those. Three of these. And a bunch of these. And that should do it. I think. Doors. Foundation. Fuck. I need quarried stone. And. Whoops. Wrong button. And still not enough, I think. Okay. We'll sit it here. And while we're doing this, I'll end the episode here because we're kind of over time. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video, even though it's been all over the fucking place. <laughs> and, you know, share, comment so I can talk to you guys and we can bring more people into this community. And, you know, and have a discussion about this game. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only Stray Cat playing games for you.